more excited about this. Oh, I get so excited when I get a new tool. It's like, get it to it. Oh, how delicious it is. And check this out. Bam! Gotta get dumb liners. Hey yo, this is your boy RC Crispy Cuts and I'm back at y'all with another one. So just like I start off every cut, I'm going to take my comb, comb the hair out, detangle the hair, so that way the clippers can flow through the hair easily. And for the first time, I'm using my StyleCraft Pro Instinct Trimmers to set in my ball line. Also for the first time using my Stylecraft Pro Instinct Clippers, I'm sending in my second line with the blade all the way open. Now I'm using my client's ear as a guide and I'm setting that line right up the top of his ear. Now I'm going over this area a bit so I can ensure that this area is clean and I can get out as many dark lines as possible so I don't have to detail as much later. Now, before using any guards, I'm just going to close my blade all the way and knock out that ball line. I'm just going to use the corners of the blades. So in this next step, I decided to do something a little different. So I close the blade all the way with the number one guard and then I switch it up and open the blade all the way just so I can get rid of the bulk all together. Then I'm gonna switch back to the blade clothes and start lightening up that line. Now sometimes as barbers, you have to go with the flow and take what the fade gives you. Now, sometimes it's hard to tell with that guard on, but I'm actually just using the corners just like I did earlier. Next, I'm gonna take off my guard have the blade open all the way and completely take out that line. Taking out any dark spots that I see, just again, using the corners of the blade. Now during this step, I'm using one of my most important tools and that's my mirror. So I'm using my mirror to look back and I can see a different perspective of the feed and maybe catch any dark lines that I can't see with my naked eye. Here I'm turning my clippers to the other direction. I'm going down and I'm doing this just to simply smooth out the fade. Now I begin to work on the opposite side. I'm gonna take the same exact steps that I did on the other side. So you guys want to try something a little different and use my body cam? Uh, just leave some comments below and tell me what you think. Should I do a whole video using this view? You guys let me know. So here I'm gonna begin fading out the nape area. I'm gonna use the same exact steps I used in the temple area, except I'm not using my trimmers to start off with the ball line. Reason being is the nape area is a very sensitive area and the trimmers can irritate the nape area, especially when it comes to children. But other than that, I'm gonna use the same exact steps as I used in the temple area.
So right here, I'm preparing for my lineup. And just like I start off the cut, I'm gonna comb down the hairs. And then I'm gonna spray a little bit of hairspray just to freeze the hair in place. And that's also gonna help me get the crispiest lineup possible. Here I'm using my Babless Pro FX Red and Gold Bull Dryer to help dry out some of that hairspray. I'm just gonna use a little bit of cool air. And now for the lineup. So as you can see, uh, he has a lot of overhang in his lineup, so there's a little bit of a pushback just so I can get a straight line. Also, his hairline is very light, so I'm gonna help that with using enhancements. Sometimes you can use enhancements not only just to improve the hairline but you can also help cover up some light spots where hair is not growing in that and overall it enhances the whole haircut Now after I added my enhancements, I'm gonna do my finishing touches and do a razor outline. Speaking of finishing touches, I wanna give a shout out to my barber school, which I graduated from, Final Touch Barber Academy, located right here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. If you're an aspiring barber, or if you already know how to cut hair, or you just need your barber's license, you can enroll today and be on your way to becoming a licensed professional. Finally, with a little bit of shear work, we're gonna cut down some of those straggling hairs just to make the hairline look a little bit neater. My final cleanup. Hey, yo, that's the final cut. I'd like, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share. This is RC Crispy, and remember, sharp is the only option. Peace.